And these two planters do all the planting. Um, uh, uh, for the most part, we we're actually designing another planter right now there in the shop to interplant corn, uh, interplant cover crop in corn. But this, the monosem planter, the blue one here is for planting corn and, uh, and we're going to mess a little bit with direct seeding tomatoes and, and we're also going to be using it to be planting some fresh market. But both it and the Great Plains drill put on uh, microbials and seaweed, which is which that's the best placement is we're putting everything right with the seed. I love it. So that. it's a very simple process and it's very foolproof. You know, for a young farmer or an old farmer like me, the most important thing is use Kinsey seed firmers. That's K-I-N-Z-E. Seed firmers because they're designed to press the seed in the soil just right and they have a tube that runs the liquid fertilizer so it drops right on the seed. So you can set up really good systems, but if you don't get the placement right, you're losing the advantage of it. So I highly recommend that doesn't matter what kind of planter you have, make a point to, to use a Kinsey seed firmer for proper placement of the fertilizer and giving the plant the best chance to get, to get a, jump in, a jump in life. So we've had really good success with it for many years and it's a trouble-free system and uh, the Kinsey seed firmers hold up really well. This planter came with the, uh, with the seed firmers, the Monosem, the Great Plains drill is just a double disc opener. So this is a good angle to see what I'm referencing on the Kinsey seed firmers. Is that If you bought a Great Plains drill, you get a double disc opener. And, and, and then we've just added the Kinsey seed firmers and if you contacted the company they would tell you or you, they would ask you what kind of plan or you tell them what you have and, and they would put it on okay. but but you could see right coming right through the back this little hose that connects up that comes in through here so it's a real simple setup but all this parts already plumbed for you nice. and then the the liquid fertilizer drips right behind the seed the seed firmer has just enough tension that it presses the seed against the soil so you get a consistent even germination. So it's just a really, really important, simple tool to make your plantings. Planting in, we've been planting uh, cover crops into wheat with that this for the first year this uh, uh, month, two months ago. And uh, we're hoping to use it again next well we use it for planting everything but some inner planting also on our grain crops this hose how's the material how's the material getting how's the liquid getting there from the tractor and so it's it's a relatively simple setup that's what the tanks on this tractor are for and then you would somebody would need to put these hydraulic pumps on it and the hydraulic pumps they, they would run and they take the material and you can set the pressure with your hydraulics and that's what takes the product back to the planter. So you would need some sort of tank. It doesn't need to be side mounted. It can be on the front. It can be on the track, you know, on the on the planting sled. The important thing is that you just have a, a pumping system in order to move the product to the planter.